man who can show just cause why they may not be joined together. Let him speak now or else hereafter forever. Well, well, well. Looks like your prayers have been answered. I think you and me prayed a different God. No. No, 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 Steph. We just want different people. I want Roxy, you want Alex. That's all there is to it. No mumbo jumbo involved. How do we explain what we've done to them? I mean, it's not exactly pillow talk. They don't want each other, they want us. As long as we don't tell them what we've done, then we'll be all right. I keep on thinking about it every night. <sighs> yeah, but you'll soon forget when you've got Alex to rub up against. Steph, we've kept it a secret this long. It's another half a lifetime. Don't make me say it again, Jane. You don't know how painful knowing you've slept with your brother is. But how can Josh have been my boyfriend if he slept with you? Because that's what boyfriends do. They move on. They don't care what you think. They... Look, you'd gone. He was lonely. I was lonely. Why? Because you were my best friend, Jane. <laughs> The most important thing is you two belong together. Me and Josh were a mistake. We all know that now. But how can I know that he wasn't the reason that I left? How can I know that he didn't hurt me? Look, there's this place that Josh used to go to. It's near here. Would you come with me if I told you where it was? Come on then. I promise you won't tell anyone where we're going. Promise? Promise. If I'd have told Roxy about Josh, then she might still be here. Is that what you want? Is that an ultimatum? Uh, no. I'm here if you want me. But that's not up to me. It's up to you. But even if Josh is ours, it's Roxanne that I want. I wonder how I'd feel if she knew him. Well, now she knows, and I still love her. Oh, come on, Steph, it's not pity I need. I got what I deserved. No one deserves to lose their family. But you don't know what I've done. It's more than this. I know all there is to know about you. Yeah, well, no one knows everything about anyone else. I know what you did to Jane. I was there on the night she disappeared. But that doesn't change the way I feel about you. How can you better look at me when you know what I've done? I'm not the one to judge you, Alex. I wish Roxanne could feel the same way about me as you do. There's no guilty secrets between us. Hey, for dramatic interpretation, sis. That was uh, some performance there, yeah? How about I'll give you a C for a clip round the ear? Go on, sling your rucksack. Oh, don't worry, Dad. I don't care what people say. No, I'm by myself, and that's it. You can always stay with us, Roxy. In Brazil, we always look after the other woman with that man. Do you know what? You two are starting to get me down. Honestly, she's calling me older, and there was you predicting I never would get married in the first place. I didn't mean anything bad, love. I just meant I've never come across a man that's ever been good enough for you. Oh, no, they've all been good enough, Dad. Yeah, they've been good enough at lying through their teeth and making me believe them. You'll find someone decent, Roxanne. Look at me and the missus. One minute I'm down and out, next minute I'm married to this wonderful woman. Mm. Look, love, I know staying here you'd do your nut, but you'll find someone soon. He says I want to find someone. No, actually, you know, from now on, no men. I'm on my own, me and my friends. <sighs> Dennis, it's not that easy. I can't just run away with you. I have responsibilities. Oh, to Mike? To Tom? Well, yeah, to both of them. <laughs> Great. Why did I ever let you string me along thinking that I was the one you wanted? I'm not even your second choice. <sighs> Carry on here, like before. No one need know. But I'll know. I know that the only reason you're with me is because your husband's gay. You, 
You know? Yeah, I know. He told me. I should have worked it out for myself. I mean, what real man wouldn't want to be with you? I just think you're too scared to leave him. Oh, who's leaving? Me. Hmm. Did I say something? No. no. I think he's just got a lot to deal with at the moment. Yeah, I know what you're saying. What about Della, though? Can you imagine that? I don't know what she must be going through. I thought we were the he wrote it. But we don't know why. When were you here? Why are you here? Just wandered in, sort of. Are you okay? Starving yourself won't prove anything. I'm not starving myself. I just don't want to eat with somebody who can treat me like a second-class citizen for so long. I have not done that. <laughs> you always treated him better than me. You know, you cared for him more, you paid him more attention. Now I know why. I'm sorry, Holly, but it was because I found it impossible to tell anyone that Josh was my son. Yeah? And what good did that do him? Look, I know Alex has done a cut of things he regrets, but his heart's in the right place. So is his blood. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't have anything to do with Alex Wells. Never have done, never will do. So you're going to choose my lousy brother over the man that's fed you for the last 18 years? He's not lousy. The only thing your family that's rotten is your taste. Doyle, you have no concept of the kind of man your uncle is. Kind, compassionate, graceful. All the things your DNA seems to have levied a tax on. Thanks, love, but I will stand up for myself. If your old man's so great, how come he can't tell the time? Of course he can tell the time. Well, why ain't he been to see you yet, then? He'll be here soon. Tell it, Dennis. Remember this. Danny will always be number one, and you will always be number something or other. Got that? I was wondering when you'd come back. I feel like such a fool in that. Why do I always trust the wrong people, hey? As long as you wake up to what's important now. Mm. Well, I'm starting, you know. The only things that are important to me now are my kids, my best friend, and me, actually. I'm just sorry things didn't work out with you and Alex. Why? So you could be lied to for another 20 years. Excuse me, Annie, but the door was open. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, what's the difference? Being lied to for 20 years or someone just not being there for 20 years? Why don't you ask your friend about that one? What's he talking about now? It's not, he's just talking gibberish. Really? Is that right, Natalie? I think you should go. I don't think your friend's been completely honest with you, Roxy. Sure, she knows that me and Steph may have shared a kiss or two. But as she told you, she is the one that actually told me to leave on the eve of our wedding. Natalie, uh, I have something to tell you. <laughs> now, we need to talk. You need to hear this. Don't try and turn this around, Nat. You send him away, and yet you never told me. It's a Roxanne. I'll see you later, OK? I was just trying to protect you, Roxanne. Do you know, for 20 years, I've been asking myself the same questions. Why was I left at the altar? What was wrong with me? I've been tormenting myself all this time, which, well, you know, and yet you have never, ever said a word. It was him and Steph. It was their fault. Do you think I might not have got over that? I mean, just imagine what I might have done with my life if I'd had that self-confidence. But you're my best friend. You've just dragged me around like a dog, haven't you? Well, I think 
but I am going to find out what my life might have been like if you hadn't interfered. Where are you going? I'm going on my honeymoon. It's about 20 years overdue. Is that a... He's not picking up. Maybe something's happened. Oh, it ain't the first time he's gone over. Yeah, your mum almost fell for him again too. You shouldn't blame yourself. I blame everyone else. I had a go at you, Mum, Fiona, Alex. Alex deserves whatever he gets. What's worse, though? A cheat who wants you or a liar who doesn't? Hey, don't start talking like that, Stan. You've still got Roxy no matter what. Yeah, you've always been that boy. I'm sure she had half a hand in not letting you see your dad. Well, in case she gets jealous. Hmm. She'll never leave him, mate. Don't worry about that. No fear. Forget Danny. He's selfish. What's so selfish about being in love, Steph, huh? Hey, come here, are you jealous? That I won my bride and you lost your groom. I was wrong to think I could have Alex in the first place. Even you said that before the wedding, when you said we should tell them about the secret. Oh, that was before I thought I had another chance with Roxy. <laughs> and now? The secret? Oh, yeah, well, Roxy's back and that's all that matters. And now we keep our mouths shut. What about Della? She's suffering. And Jane. You said you cared. Yeah, well, listen, Red's the only one I care about right now. Doesn't matter what you say or what you do, Steph, nothing's going to change that. I'm sick of secrets, Danny. Yeah, well, so is Bradshaw, Stephanie. <sighs> do what you want. I don't care anymore. You may think you've won now, but... You're never going to have anything with Roxanne. Not with what we know is hanging over you. Oh, well, well, no, no, well, listen to me. Roxy's mind's made up and you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna change that, Steph. I didn't think you wanted to be here anymore. Danny didn't turn up. He's gone. Oh, I'm going with him, aren't I? Huh? No good wasting good honey, man. What about the children? Uh, the girls are at the pub. And as for this one, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Can't do worse than you did with Josh, uh, can you? But what about me? Well, Mike and Fiona are around the corner. I mean, after all, you've been telling me about what a grown-up you are these days. I didn't know you was mine, Rox. Not for sure. Not till Steph told me. You let your son get involved with our daughter. Oh, what kind of father does that make you? I think it's safe to say that you're not quite the man I thought you were. But then my whole life's been full of lies and illusions, hasn't it? Anyway... I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to get changed, and then I'm leaving. But when I get back, I want you gone, Alex. Let's face it, things haven't been right between us in years. What did you see, Jane? What did it mean? Who am I? Who am I? I'm Jane Harper. But I don't know who she is. That's why I wrote it on the wall. What, you've been here before when you disappeared? Why? Because of Josh. You. It's okay. Just trust me. What do you think she meant by that? I should go now. I've never felt the same way about Holly as I have done about Josh. It's only natural, really. Are you telling me you've brought me all the way out here to talk about childcare? No, Natalie. I want to talk about the truth. Why you feel the same way about Jane as I feel about Holly. Please don't tell me how I feel about my own daughter. Search your feelings, Natalie. You know I'm telling you the truth. No, I don't. I'm your business anyway. It is my business and it has been my business for 17 years. I've tried to live with this secret. But it's impossible, you know. I, I, I realize that a certain level of happiness will always be denied me. You always try to control everything. But there are some things you cannot control, Natalie. I'm sorry. What is this truth? Jane is not your daughter. Della is. They were swapped at birth. Bradshaw. Danny made her do it. 
she swapped their wristbands as soon as they were born. I don't believe you. To pay you back for sending us away. He, he'd already done it before he told me. It, it was too late. He was just using me to get close to my mum. She was doing the same. And I fell for it. Oh, look, Dennis. Your mum, Alex, Danny, Steph, Natalie. There's, there's always been complications between them. You can't take it all on yourself. But they're my family. Who else have I got? Well, me. If you still want that. We're out of milk. Can you go and get another pint, please, Holly? No. Well, Josh is the only one who drank it. There should be loads left. Yes, that was mother's milk. I want some more milk. I want to be alone. Well, you're not... The wedding goes wrong and you invite Alex around the next day. Get out now. And, and you, don't you think you ought to be with your parents, even if it's just to say hello? It's where you belong. Are you all right? Please, just go. tips of your fingers off doing that. Yeah, why not wait until Jane gets home? She made an excellent job on my room earlier. Oh, and which one of the ugly sisters are you supposed to be? Are you all right, Natalie? Mum? Where's Della? It's okay, she walked me to the door. Well, what's the problem then? I remembered. Remembered what? I remembered that I love you and I want to marry Sam. And I'm sorry for going away. <laughs> 